is obviously a must win for Vici Gaming. Maybe it's just a DY thing for the past few years. They've always had very active supports. They would always make early mid rotations. Oh. Yeah, trying a little again, bit though. here. Kingslayer is going to be hit by these things. Well, he's actually going to take a lot of damage. He's going to fall here. No fairy fire, anything to protect him. Old Levin picks up the first blood. Cast bows from the back. That's a, that's actually a, if that was intentional, that's really next level. Yeah, that's really interesting. GPK turning around, Avalanche trying to keep Ori back, but he's going to get pulled back into the cold feet. Does root him down. They have a sentry available. Throw the silence on him to make sure there's no toss. Inkswell may actually be able to get them plus one here. His save is in some trouble. They're trying to run, doing a lot of damage to Ori. Ori does manage to finish off the Lion King Slayer, slowed down by just a little bit of AOE. He's going for the kill, but. Time and time again, he's going to find those nasty supports. It's these offlaners that are able to take their tower first and then TP to their safe lane, and they just stand there, right? They're yeah. a wall. They, they're a wall. Then oh, they God. Go. Is oh, he going to die again? Rough. He just came back. Goes mid lane is immediately going to be caught by the Dragon Knight plus Inkswell combination. Once again with the Ice Blast, they're going to turn around onto the Spectre who haunted in, but it looks like they're a little shy on damage. Nice double Dragon Tail stun off of the bound there from PYW, but they're deep underneath this tower. They are going to be able to kill Kingslayer, but at the same time, Old Eleven, his life is forfeit for all of this action. A one for two trade to the favor of Vici Gaming. I, I, yeah. Something about the way that they're able to constantly collapse on the mid lane and take the opposing mid tower first. Seems so good. Old Eleven going for it again. DM, though, wise to their tricks. And they're going to be able to get the punish, too. Nice toss back there from GPK. Throws the avalanche as he walks backwards here to make sure that the Phantom wouldn't cause him too many issues. VG Gaming. Yeah. But they end up going because maybe some, like, some communications breaking down or something. And then it looks bad for him. All of a sudden, you lose your DK. And oh, oh. Ori rounds the corner and voila. It's save and nightfall right there in front of you with the chain stun combination. And now all of that space that was being bought for Ori to be able to hit some neutral creeps, now that all kind of gets given away. Virtus Pro recognizing a sort of huge power smoke. spike, but at the same time, VG Gaming. They also smoke. They're playing the right hand side behind this tower after yet another Dragon Knight. Casual push here, and he's gonna be caught, no doubt, but he does manage to get the tower before he dies. Old Eleven is gonna get blown up pretty quickly, but a nice ice blast into the back line. Looks like Ori is gonna be able to assassinate safe as well. Two of the front lines die, and they've lost their support. Timber saw Kingslayer, Nightfall, that's all that's left in this fight. Now, say goodbye to Kingslayer. Now the two tanky boys, save with the buyback, is gonna be able to come in and execute Poyo Yo with a nice finger of death. So, things do even out a bit more. Vici Gaming losing their carry. That one's gonna hurt a bit. The thing is, you can make like a small micro mistake in the lane, and how it snowballs and comp compounds through the game can make you look a lot worse. Oh, mid lane though. Cold feet okay. into Dragon Tail, and Old Eleven walking away, throws out the fire, and uh, keeps trucking. DY is going to be traded out by GPK. Both the sports dying here Set. in front of his safe lane tier one tower. Be the aggressor. Be able Ten to seconds for Haunt. farm out top. Haunt coming in. Three seconds in. now, actually. Virtus Pro. Really want to be able to even out and take this mid tower. Spot it out. Grimstroke, they're going to be able to blow him up first. PYW just needs one more hit, but it looks like GPK has failed. Could be able to get it. The magic wand keeps him alive, and now GPK is in trouble. At the same time, Old Eleven's copped a lot of damage off the Wraith King in the second life. But look at that. They've actually got the illusion. P.E.O. Poyo Yo, he's going to be nailing this Timber Saw until he eventually falls. Virtus Pro, the. Things are just not going right for them, AY, as uh, now Old Eleven actually being able to find the extra pickup. They're going to buy back on the Timber Saw here, knowing that this team fight is a bit of a disaster, but actually turned around. So much damage coming up for the Timber Saw, plus the fact they have the Finger of Death to take out the Storm Spirit, but Nightfall eventually is going to die and doesn't have a reincarnation. Back over to the Dragon Knight. Chakram will finish him up. Save. Hoping that he can be protected by the Timber Saw, but there's not much a Timber can do. Supports, kiting him around. Oh no, threw out the chakram. That means this phantom, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna latch on top of him. The ice blast is back and excuse me? PYW is godlike. Oh, are they running up this? They're gonna they run in full up. vision. Dragonite falls just going up there, but at the same time, Dragonite, he's already jumped. Kingslayer's just dead right off the bat. Now the Storm Shear is gonna be able to grab GPK here with an ice blast on top of him, and they've got the soul pine. This time he's gonna take out. They're just losing cores here. So much of the back line is just being disrupted by this Storm Spirit. And eventually, Nightfall can be left for last. You know, the word was Virtus Pro, they were doing really well in scrims going into this event. Seems like they're botting everyone. Ori finds an opening, another soul bite, latching between the tiny and the timber saw. They're both gonna get silenced. 
And maybe DM can make it out alive here as he finally kills the Phantom. I mean, there's a lot of, I guess there's some small things, right? Like when he got his blink timing, they kill Timberstall mid and it ruins VP's timing, but yep. they're still going. Still gonna go for this Wraith King. Turns around, okay, they've got a buyback off this, and when it looks like Vici Gaming maybe have overextended, they've lost Po Yo. Ori is in right now, but Nightfall still has the last bit of his BKB. Running strong, now going for the Grimstroke. They know PYW is worth a lot of gold right now. Whoever gets that one is gonna get almost 700 gold for that bounty. GBK sees that Ori is very low on mana here. He's got maybe one little small zip left, so Virtus Pro. They could just keep running if they want to. Turns around and actually stalls up GPK by grabbing him there. I think they caught him though. With the Vortex, but he's gonna blink forward. Avalanche toss backwards into some of his allies, and then, yep, he's dead. Life number one. Can he time the stomp here? Kingslayer's gonna go for it. Stopped. Follow up, Earth Spike didn't even see if save was there, so of course they've got him. Plenty of disables are left there. At the same time, Vici Gaming. They may walk into this one. If Virtus Pro is in the right position, they could break it on the high ground, but they won't. Old 11, charging forward, turning into the dragon immediately. There goes the haunt. They're going to smart some of the members. They see save. He's immediately going to be orking it up. He's definitely dying. The stop attempted by Kingslayer, interrupted by Ori. He makes sure that both the supports are going to die now. And Nightfall, he has to go for the BKB teleport out. This fight was a disaster. He's playing AA against like a Spectre and like a lot of jump. I actually mm -hmm. thought he should sit in the fountain and TP in <laughs> after Haunt was used. I actually, I don't think it's... Oh, they're going though. Well, they do manage to get the initiation first this time around. This time on the Dragonite, but he managed to get off the BKB after the Finger of Death and Save is already dead. Elder Titan orchid it up is also in trouble. Even though he has the Ghost Scepter, he's very likely to die. And first life already gone for the Wraith King. He's going to come back with Hell to Pay. Ice Blast over the top of things. And uh, this time around, he actually doesn't feel comfortable going for the TP out. I think he was hoping for maybe to be able to Shadow Blade away, but no. I'm waiting. So the Aegis is a multi He jumps oh. in, inks well. He's gonna be able to get a chain stun, may even be able to kill Kingslayer off this. Kingslayer getting for the stomp, but they've already lost save. He immediately buys back. He's now been tossed back by GPK. They're trying to get this Elder Titan out, but they also need to be able to save their carry. Nightfall's in trouble. Kingslayer, Ori, trying to get those last couple of hits in a bash from Poyo Yo is able to finish him off. Now they start retreating though, knowing that more buybacks are coming in. They toss back into the fountain, Poyo Yo! Oh, his Aegis was just about to expire. Whoa, what a jump in from Ori! Inside of the fountain he goes for it to make sure that Poyo Yo is able to get out of range of another toss back into the fountain again. Ori, though, used so much mana in doing that little bit of nonsense that he ends up dying. Nightfall kills him off with 1100 damage crit. And now they're chasing for more. Nightfall has his own illusion to contend with, but he does have the reincarnation. Poyo Yo is going to be able to dispatch him pretty quickly. That's life number one. Old Eleven dealing with the support. Save's already dead. Die back for him. DM caught in the soul bind, not able to get away, but that's going to free up Nightfall as soon as he dies. But Nightfall, it, it actually isn't even the Spectre. Half the time, it's but, this damn Grimstroke illusion. But that Wraith King just killed four heroes. <laughs> I think it did 8,000 damage that fight. I'm not even kidding. 8,000 damage. <laughs> I love this role that DY is playing. All you do as a fight position is you just kind of distract the enemy from hitting your carry. Yeah, you buy solves and you sort of like run around and try to... <laughs> oh, there it is. First blood. Bottom lane. Yeah, so here comes the centaur. He's just sliding over. Okay. Come into Phoenix's DMs and, you know, it's not a happy message. <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? You want to see this picture I got? Oh, well, there he goes. PYW it's dead. Picture. <laughs> it's not a good picture at all. Him being able to do really well against the timber saw in lane. The center did slightly win that lane, but he's farming it up. Good smoke break. GPK is actually going to try and fight this one with a stampede, but there goes the arena. Isn't it blocking out? It's not blocking out the shots. The Luna kills it. They managed to bring down the Phoenix. No explosion there. And the rest of EG Gaming are already dead. And the roars coming from the Virtus Pro side of the building. It's loud. They're feeling it right now. They were probably frustrated after that game one. And there it is. They start tipping each other. They're feeling good about that. Okay, going okay next with game. losing the game. <laughs> going to a game three. <laughs> GPK with the exorcism. Again. Looks like they're going to be able to uh, get this with no contest. Silence going out, preventing the Mars from getting anything there. Old Eleven spotted by the Sentry, not going to be able to throw a spear, throw an arena, nothing. Vici Gaming, they are just stumbling about now. They're going to buy back, see if they can actually win this around the outpost here. As GPK is heavily committed in, and looks like the rest of Virtus Pro, they're just going to leave him behind, spear down into the Tier 2 area. DM came back to try and help out GPK. 
But I feel like Rest of Virtus Pro, oh, they actually are going to come back in. They have the Eclipse with the level 2. They're going to be able to blow up several heroes with that one. Lean and Phoenix gone. Old 11 playing outside of his arena right now, trying to block off these shots from Nightfall. Running down to the river, looking to be able to jump, but he just can't get far enough away. Nightfall with the triple kill. Virtus Pro played it slow. They're wrapping all the way around here. Yeah, VG Gaming cool playing on this high ground, but if they wrap all the way around, this is the last place that VG Gaming are expecting this kind of jump. They jump forward, immediately hit the Ursa, stun him up, but the BKB is going to go off immediately afterwards. Going for a Nightfall right now, but he actually doesn't feel good about it. You can see he's walking away. He's leaving Old Eleven and Ori behind. Ori, who's going to be targeted down by Saves Wind Ranger. They go for the Supernova, the explosion. It is gone. Ends up dying. DY, yeah, Po Yo Yo. Even though he wanted to lead that team fight, he's still kind of stuck around and ultimately means he, he gets caught by the Yule Scepter. They know that they have the team fights won. You can just secure mm. some more map control. And this is where Luna really shines, right? As soon as those glaives get off, the Raxes are dead. It's impossible to fight into this. Yeah. By team it makes fights. it easy to see what you have to do to win the team fight. It's mm -hmm. not simple to see for Vici how to win this team fight. They have to play this entire game and think of how to take these fights. It's really hard to do. Ice Blast spots two in the back line with a stomp coming down from DM. Hits both of them. Supernova still goes off. It's on the high ground here. Can the Mars stop it? He was actually silenced for so long he couldn't get it off in time. No, the Supernova does explode. They couldn't get the last hit in. And now, stuck inside the arena with a Sunray on the high ground, they are getting burned down. Ori pop of the BKB, but he sees save. Save as the four position Wind Ranger is going to chase this lean away. But a nice spear back in by Old Eleven finishes off that support. DM and save are both dead. How did that egg not die? Nah, that was a perfect arena, apparently. Yeah, G I mean, GPK, like. Oh, VB still want to fight, though. They really are, and they are going to oh, be able to kill Old Sash. Eleven even <laughs> through the Aphotic Shield. Oh, dear. They thought they had a free Roshan. This they may still vision. be able to get it. Virtus Pro, are they going to try and jump in? Silencing him. Ursa's not happy with that one. They're going to have to back out DM again with the two-man stomp. But this time around, the Phoenix will die. No Supernova to save you, sir. Delina also falling right next to him. And Virtus Pro will now take full control of the Roshan pit and grab the Aegis. This A, bro, it's just so strong, I think. So that was a useless thing to say. Why did I say that? <laughs> no, I think it was fair. If they can actually keep this going. Look at these glaives. They're just chunking down DY. Yeah. And it always feels so terrible when you're like, oh, we can't stop them hitting this tier three. They're going to go for him now, trying to burn out that Aegis with low commitment. But Po Yo Yo is going to find he's going to have to use his BKB to get out of here. And that is not what they wanted. Okay, Nightfall is going to willingly expend his first life here to keep this going. Exorcism bringing down the tier three tower. Ori looking to get the stun. Nice Manta, though. And the glaives begin to bounce. Vici Gaming are going to have to forfeit this area. Oh, never mind. Oh, Levin's going to go for it. Managed to spear up the death prop, the supernova on the outside of the arena too. This will definitely explode, but the Virtus Pro, they're gonna pop their BKBs and get out of range of the giant explosion. Now they're jumping back in. Silence up on the Phoenix, not letting a maker his dive away until the body shield. Not even that. Couldn't get the dive away. And he's a player who can sort of carry a game and sort of do his role. Yeah. Which is like very good for a mid player to have. It's one of the best qualities. I mean, yeah, he's, he's probably his most well-known hero is like Viper. <laughs> you know, that's not like exactly a late game hard carry, but he's a beast on that. He's soon really going to the death. Probably managed to dodge the spear there. His old 11 attempting an execution there. Great shackle going out. DY going to pop his ultimate to remove that. Ice Blast over the top is going to hit Ori. But the problem is, Vici Gaming not losing any heroes to this. They still have to be able to fight for their barracks. Once they, that Luna starts hitting the barracks. They should go for it. Ursa has no BQB yeah. and they still have BQBs under one and two. There goes the arena. Trying to go for the spear. BKB out from Nightfall. Turns around hitting DY. At the same time, Poyo Yo does manage to focus down DM. Damage really racking up. GPK though on the front line is going to pop the sheep. Great Jack left from save. Beautiful initiation that catches two cores and pretty much ends the game right here. As you can see, Vici Gaming. Call Teams have been looking for these DK counters. Ballin, are they going to get this kill? They're trying if he can get the Jingu stack and then throw it out, but he couldn't quite get the ball. Oh, never mind. Kingslayer commits. Doesn't feel comfortable. Then DK, Templar Assassin, neither one of them want to yeah. be there. I either. mean, in theory, maybe. But the moment you TP down there, Vici are just going to smoke down there, get resources on Storm, and kill you down there. It won't look good. Yeah, they're going to take the mid tower instead. Shackle Shot does give them a bit more time, but the Glyph is going to put things on hold. Re engaging now. Vici Gaming looking for an overextension. They burn through the refraction here. Tower ends up falling to DM's poison. Save. Nice. Winner's curse. They get a decent amount of damage, setting up the Chakram already in place. Good shackle shot, though. Is that? No, it's not going to be enough. The Electric Vortex quickly pulling 
GPK into his death. Like, they're under a timer. Maybe that's how they like to play, but it's hard to play Dota like that in these high-pressure environments. Oh, the 11. He's tanky, but this is four members of Verdes Pro trying to bring him down. And is it going to be enough, though? There it is. Purifying Flames. That's just enough. DM's going to be pulled back in, but... Uh, oops. Accidentally used Fate's Edict on himself. Kingslayer perhaps fearing that Ori was going to jump oh. on him, rather. DM does manage to find the Winter Wyvern here. Winter's Curse is up. DY, though, not seeing a good opportunity. Virtus Pro remaining very spread. And now Vici Gaming trying to get a little bit of information of inside of the pit. Are they really going to try this one? Metamorphosis is going to be used. But win run already popped here. The Monkey King could have been jumping in, slowing them both down. Immediately hexed up, but at the same time, a beautiful shackle shot. Managed to lock down the lion. Lion falls. Now Poyo surrounded by the Wukong Span. Turns around, managed to get a sunder. Oh, 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 the Levin just came in and blew up the DK and the Monkey King. GPK going to be saved out by a last second false promise right before Kingslayer dies. And we can see a bit of a problem with Monkey King this game. He has a ring ult, but he instantly gets thundered and bursts it down, and now Vichy hits Aegis. Yeah, DM gets a little bit too close to the pits. Virtus Pro feeling a bit desperate. This is a Templar Assassin lineup that does not get the Roshan. 5,000 net worth lead for Vichy Gaming. They just traded a Tier 1 for a Tier 2. And Virtus Pro is going to smoke back into VG Gaming here. They VG. saw the Timber saw TP. Oh, oh, God, the smoke breaks. He jumps out of the tree just barely in time. The Shackle Shot actually grabbed the Storms here. They made it throw out the wall. False Promise. And Nightfall is going to turn around and try and deliver the damage onto Ori, who's saved by the Cold Embrace right now. It does manage to zip away. The Winter's Curse laid out. Save is also going to be taken out by Poyo Yo. The Scotty is going to be able to slow them down. Nightfall managed to jump into the trees and is looking away. GPK starts poking a Poyo Yo, but again, high armor. Not easy to be able to burst this hero down, and he still got his Sunter. They shackled it up. Old 11. Nice bounce the strike. Ori jumps in and immediately dies. Oh, he did not expect that stun to be laid out. Nightfall. Just right place, right time with that stun, and now a shackle shot. They're not letting Vici Gaming get away from this one. Oh, the Levin. He's going to have to turn around and see if he can take some heroes down with them. The Invis, not going to be good enough here. Another shackle, but a cold embrace as well. Oh, managed to grab him inside of the trees here. Monkey King unable to jump down. Poyo Yo trying to nail him right now, bit by bit. Nightfall trying to get some life steal in. He's staying alive right now. Chakra and pullback. Is that going to be enough? Nightfall eventually falls, but the rest of Vici Gaming are going to fall as well as Old Eleven. Running low on mana, surrounded by three heroes. Vici Gaming will lose this team fight. I think Eventually. Save hit like four, <laughs> four two man shackles that fight, or just clutch shackles. Ooh, they're happy. Oh, yeah. We're just probably going to work their way across the map here, making the long moves around. Now that they're on equal footing, Old Eleven actually stumbling right into them. Immediately, Heaven's Halper, but let's see, the Monkey King, he tried to jump in the back line, but he didn't pop his BKB fast enough. Oh no, Nightfall, what have you done? Meanwhile, the Winter Wyvern does die with the rest of Virtus Pro managing to execute, but DM is out of here, and the rest of Virtus Pro is hoping to do the same, but save, and I'm thinking Kingslayer. They're both going to have to experience a die back here on the precipice here of an another early departure from the major. Last time they managed to win one series in the lower bracket. This time around, maybe they're just going to drop out without a win. Oh, 11. Oh, nice stun. Bound the strike from Nightfall. DM and Nightfall find the Winter Wyvern, and they see that's a wonderful kill to get. They have Gaming. They're going to buy back. They have actually got the outpost to be able to TP onto. They broke the tree as well. Nightfall sitting there, stunned up during his BKB. Now trying to get off the Wukong's command. Poyo Yo immediately moving outside of it. GPK trying to land the damage with the Winter's Curse. Does that actually grab GPK? GPK is struggling, though, against all of this. The Terra play just reigns supreme. Brings down both of the cores. This and is 70 seconds with no Templar Assassin. This is going to be Vici Gaming getting at least one lane of barracks here. Oh, save. Always oh, trying to do some sneaky little shenanigans here, but the Ghost Scepter will save PYW immediate buyback. Dude, just the, the temerity of save there, you know? Like, there's a Storm Spirit. He yeah. goes for his Shackle. I, I honestly <laughs> love it. Like, don't want to go for the big plays. He really is. Because they can't go to the mid lane. They'd have to go all the way up to top. That's mm, like... No, of course not. You definitely haven't experienced any of that. Oh, PYW gets off the Ghost Scepter, but here comes a Fortune 10, and it's actually going to be enough to finish him off. Winter's Curse laid out, and it also is catching the Templar Assassin, so this Monkey King is going to take a lot of damage. Meanwhile, Ori has already killed that back line. No false promise this fight until the buyback actually coming into play. Nightfall getting off the Wukong's command, but again, Poyo Yo casually walking out of it every single time. Wyvern looks a bit vulnerable here. Oh, save. Sentry, ward. 
they have a word on the high ground. VG Gaming, they know that Virtus Pro is up here in Timbersaw. Once again, old 11 charging in. DM does manage to find the initiation, but it's going to be on the line immediately saved by the Cold Embrace. Meanwhile, Ori is going straight for Kingslayer, but he's going to be saved by the Fate Edict right now. They still have an opportunity to get off the False Promise. The Winter's Curse is going to stop the Wukong's man from going out. He had the False Promise himself. Meanwhile, the Shackle Shot going down, but the Cold Embrace again and again. It just keeps on saving the VG Gaming heroes. They are struggling to be able to find a single kill in this team fight. Four dead with no buyback, and that is very likely the game as they're gonna find that final member, GPK, next to the Roshan pit, rampage for Poyo Yo, and that is how they're gonna close out this series, I believe, as Vici Gaming can just march down the mid lane. You see Old Eleven, he timber chains in, he finds a BKB Monkey King on a tree, cuts yep. his tree, and <laughs>